Jailed Iranian activist Narjiz Mohammadi wins 2023 Nobel Peace Prize. Iranian human rights activist and the vice president of the Defenders of Human Rights Center, DHRC, Narjiz Mohammadi poses in this undated handout picture. Mohammadi family archive photos slash handout via Reuters slash file photo acquire licensing rights imprisoned Iranian women's rights advocate Narjiz Mohammadi won the Nobel Peace Prize on Friday in a rebuke to Tehran's theocratic leaders and boost for anti-government protesters. The award-making committee said the prize honored those behind recent unprecedented demonstrations in Iran and called for the release of Mohammadi, 51, who has campaigned for three decades for women's rights and abolition of the death penalty, we hope to send the message to women all around the world that are living in conditions where they are systematically discriminated, have the courage, keep on going, Barrett Rice Anderson, head of the Norwegian Nobel Committee, told Reuters. We want to give the prize to encourage Narjiz Mohammadi and the hundreds of thousands of people who have been crying for exactly woman, life, freedom in Iran, she added, referring to the protest movement's main slogan. There was no immediate official reaction from Tehran, which has called the protests Western-led subversion. But the semi-official news agency Fars said Mohammadi had received her prize from the Westerners after making headlines due to her acts against the national security. Mohammadi was quoted by the New York Times as saying she would never stop striving for democracy and equality, even if that meant staying in prison. I will continue to fight against the relentless discrimination, tyranny and gender-based oppression by the oppressive religious government until the liberation of women, the newspaper quoted her as saying in a statement, which it said was issued after the Nobel announcement. Mohammadi is serving multiple sentences in Tehran's Evan prison amounting to about 12 years imprisonment, one of the many periods she has been detained behind bars, according to the Frontline Defenders' Rights Organization. Charges include spreading propaganda against the state, she is the deputy head of the Defenders of Human Rights Center, a non-governmental organization led by Sharana Abadi, the 2003 Nobel Peace Prize laureate who lives in exile. I congratulate Narjiz Mohammadi and all Iranian women for this prize, Abadi told Reuters. This prize will shed light on violation of women's rights in the Islamic Republic, which unfortunately has proven that it cannot be Mohammadi is the 19th woman to win the 122-year-old prize and the first one since Maria Ressa of the Philippines garnered the award in 2021 jointly with Russia's Dmitry Muratov. Mohammadi's husband Taghi Romani applauded as he watched the announcement on TV at his home in Paris. This Nobel Prize will embolden Narja's fight for human rights, but more importantly, this is in fact a prize for the woman, life and freedom movement, he told Reuters her brother. Hamid Reza Mohammadi, said he was overwhelmed when watching the announcement and that the prize would strengthen the work of his sister and other activists. She will feel much stronger in her endeavors for human rights in Iran and for everyone who hopes for a better situation in Iran, he told Reuters in Oslo. Arrested more than a dozen times in her life, and held three times in Evan prison since 2012, Mohammadi has been unable to see her husband for 15 years and her children for seven. Her prize, worth 11 million Swedish crowns, or around $1 million, will be presented in Oslo on December 10, the anniversary of the death of Swedish industrialist Alfred Nobel, who founded the awards in his 1895 will. Past winners range from Martin Luther King to Nelson Mandela. Mohammadi's award came as rights groups reported that an Iranian teenage girl was hospitalized in a coma after a confrontation on the Tehran metro for not wearing a hijab. Iranian authorities deny the reports, the Nobel Committee's honoring of Mohammadi also came just over a year after the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini in the custody of Iranian morality police for allegedly flouting the Islamic Republic's dress code for women. That provoked months of nationwide protests that posed the biggest challenge to Shiite clerical rule in years, and was met with a deadly security crackdown costing several hundred among a stream of tributes from major global bodies, UN Secretary-General Antonio Guterres said the Nobel Award was a tribute to all those women who are fighting for their rights at the risk of their freedom, their health and even their lives. Dan Smith, head of the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute think tank, said that while the prize could help ease pressure on Iranian dissidents, it would be unlikely to bring about Mohammadi's release.